the bank reconciliation statement can detect the following errors except option a cash embezzlement by cashier option b check deposited but not yet collected option c check issued but not yet presented option d interest charged by bank this question ka sahi answer hai option a cash embezzlement by cashier agar cashier ne cash ko chura liya hai to bank reconciliation statement is error ko detect nahi kar sakta option a is the correct answer for the given question miss chameli issued check worth rupees 2500 rupees in march 2023 out of which check worth rupees 1000 were only presented till 31st march 2023 debit balance as per cash book would be question samajhiyega ki debit balance as per cash book pucha ja raha hai theek hai option a deducted by 1500 option b added by 1500 option c deducted by 1000 option d added by 1000 is question ka sahi answer hai debit balance as per cash book would be added by 1500 option b is the correct answer for the given question a bank passbook is a copy of option a the cash column of the customer's cash book option b the bank column of customer's cash book option c the customer's account in the bank ledger option d the customer's deposit in bank is question ka sahi answer hai a bank passbook is a copy of the customer's account in the bank ledger option c is the correct answer for the given question which one of these will require adjustment of cash book balance option a overcasting bank column of cash book option b check issued but not presented for payment option c check deposited but not cleared option d errors in passbook is question ka sahi answer hai option a overcasting bank column of cash book option a is the correct answer for the given bank reconciliation is a dash and not and dash theek hai pehla option hai ledger and journal dusra option hai account and statement teesra option hai statement and account aur chautha option hai letter and account bahut simple sa question hai is question ka sahi answer agar aapko malum hai aap comment kar sakte hain is question ka sahi answer hai option C statement and account. Bank reconciliation is a statement and not an account. Option C is the correct answer. If transaction of different months in the cash book and the pass book are given, the dash transaction will appear in the bank reconciliation statement. Option A common. Option B uncommon. Option C all. Option D none. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option A common. If transaction of different months in the cash book and the pass book are given, the common transaction will appear in the bank reconciliation statement. Option A is the correct answer. Munni Badnam issued check worth rupees twenty thousand in March two thousand twenty-three, out of which check worth rupees five thousand only were presented for payment by thirty-first March two thousand twenty-three. Balance as per pass book was rupees fifteen thousand. What would be the balance as per cash book? Option A five thousand. option b 10000 option c 15000 option d 20000 rupees is question ka sahi answer hai option b 10000 rupees a bank deposit of rupees 6000 was omitted from being recorded in the cash book starting with credit balance as per pass book is the starting point which one of these adjustment would be done at the time of reconciliation option a add 6000 to the balance as per pass book option b deduct 12000 to the balance as per pass book option c add 12000 to the balance as per pass book option d deduct 6000 from balance as per pass book is question ka sahi answer hai option d deduct 6000 from the balance as per pass book option d is the correct answer a bank reconciliation is dash hamare paas char option hai usme se ek sahi jawab hai pehla option hai a formal financial statement that lists all of a firm's bank account balances dusra option hai a merger on two banks that previously were competitors teesra option hai a statement sent monthly by a bank to depositor that lists all deposits checks paid and other credits and charges to the depositors account for the month or last option hai 
a schedule that accounts for differences between a firm's cash balance as shown on a bank statement and the balance shows in its personal ledger cash account is question ka sahi answer hai option d a bank reconciliation is a schedule that accounts for the differences between a firm's cash balance as shown on the bank statement and the balances shown in its personal ledger cash account option d is the correct answer when the balance as per passbook is the starting point checks sent for collection but not collected are option a added in the bank reconciliation statement option b deducted in the bank reconciliation statement option c not required to be adjusted in the bank reconciliation statement option d neither of the above this question ka sahi answer agar aapko malum hai to aap comment karke bata sakte hain is question ka sahi answer hai option d neither of the above in arriving at adjusted cash balance which of the following is not taken into account option a amount deposited by our customer direct into our bank account option b errors in cash book option c errors in pass book option d all of these is question ka sahi answer hai option c errors in pass book option c is the correct answer the credit balance of rupees 1000 in the bank column of the cash book was carried forward as its debit balance when overdraft as per pass book is the starting option a 1000 will be deducted option b 1000 will be added option c 2000 will be deducted option d 2000 will be added is question ka sahi answer hai option c 2000 will be deducted option c is the correct answer for the given question the balance shown by bank column of cash book was rupees 48000 on 31st january 2023 a check issued worth rupees 24000 on 16th january was not cleared till 31st january check worth rupees 10000 received on 20th january and deposited on 21st january was cleared on 27th january 2023 the balances as per pass book as on 31st january assuming opening balance of pass book and cash book are equal is option a 14000 option b 24000 option c 72000 option d 82000 dosto question thoda bada hai aap video ko pause karke ek bar wapas pad ke niche comment mein answer kar sakte hain is question ka sahi answer hoga option C seventy two thousand. Option C is the correct answer. Which of these bank balance are shown in trial balance? Option A balance as per cash book. Option B as per bank pass book. Option C as certified by statutory auditor. Option D as per bank statement. This question का सही answer. अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप comment करके बता सकते हैं. This question का सही answer है option A balance as per cash book. Option A is the correct answer. For the given question, which of the reasons are for bank passbook showing less balance than cash book? Option A, check issued but not paid. Option B, payment directly received by bank. Option C, direct payment made by bank. Option D, interest allowed by bank. This question का सही आंसर है. Option C, direct payment made by bank. Option C is the correct answer for the given question. A current account holder had only twenty four hundred in his account, and a check for rupees three thousand issued by him was paid out by bank. The above situation is dash. First option is bank deficit. Second option is bank overdraft. Third option is bank deposit. Fourth option is bank loan. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option B bank overdraft. Bank reconciliation statement is a part of dash. Option A cash book. option b ledger option c financial statement option d any one of the above is question ka sahi answer hai bank reconciliation statement is a part of cash book option a is the correct answer for the given question the service that the bank had agreed to remit periodic payment at specific date on behalf of its customer known as option a standing order option b mutual fund option c bills of exchange option d credit transfer इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है द सर्विस दैट द बैंक हैड अग्रीड टू रेमिट पीरियोडिक पेमेंट एट स्पेसिफिक डेट ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ इस कस्टमर इज नोन एज स्टैंडिंग ऑर्डर ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन ओवरड्राफ्ट बैंक बैलेंस एज शोन बाय द कैश बुक इज रुपीज 
A check for rupees 10,400 was deposited to the bank but omitted in the cash book. In the pass book, the amount is wrongly entered in the withdrawal column. Overdraft balance as per pass book is dash. Option A 16,400. Option B 16,000. Option C 16,900. Option D 13,050 rupees. इस क्वेश्चन को एक बार आप वापस पढ़िएगा समझिएगा और अगर आपको सही आंसर मालूम हो तो आप कमेंट करके बताइएगा इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर ऑप्शन ए है 16,400 रुपीस। एनी रॉन्ग एंट्री ऑन डेबिट साइड ऑफ द पासबुक ऑप्शन ए विल डिफर द बैलेंसेस ऑफ पासबुक एंड कैश बुक ऑप्शन बी विल हैव नो इफेक्ट ऑन द बुक्स ऑप्शन सी ओनली कैश बुक विल बी अफेक्टेड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अब इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है एनी रॉन्ग एंट्री ऑन द डेबिट साइड ऑफ द पासबुक विल डिफर इन द बैलेंसेस ऑफ द पासबुक एंड द कैश बुक ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर द गुड्स लेफ्ट अनसोल्ड आर कॉल्ड डैश ऑप्शन ए क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑप्शन बी ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑप्शन सी वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर द गुड्स लेफ्ट अनसोल्ड आर कॉल्ड Closing stock option A is the correct answer. Buy products should be valued at option A cost, option B net realizable value, option C cost or net realizable value whichever is less, option D cost or market value whichever is less. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है. Buy products should be valued at cost or net realizable value whichever is less. Option C is the correct answer for the given. Which attribute should be used to measure damaged inventory? Option A, historical cost. Option B, net realizable value. Option C, current market value. Option D, current cost. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option B, net realizable value. Option B is the correct answer. Closing stock is generally valued at dash. Option A, cost price. Option B, market price. Option C, cost price or market price, whichever is higher. Option D, cost price or market price, whichever is lower. This question ka sahi answer hai. Closing stock is generally valued at cost price or market price, whichever is lower. Option D is the correct answer. During a period of steadily falling prices, which of the following methods of measuring the cost of goods sold is likely to result in reporting the highest gross profit? Option A, first in first out. Option B, last in first out. Option C, highest in first out. Option D, average cost. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन बी लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन ड्यूरिंग अ पीरियड ऑफ स्टेडली राइजिंग प्राइसेस व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड्स ऑफ मेजरिंग द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड इज लाइकली टू रिजल्ट इन रिपोर्टिंग द लोएस्ट पॉसिबल टैक्सेबल इनकम ऑप्शन ए एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑप्शन बी वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑप्शन सी फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट ऑप्शन डी लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन डी लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर द अप्रोप्रिएट मेथड ऑफ वैल्यूएशन ऑफ द आइटम्स व्हिच आर नॉट इजीली इंटरचेंजेबल इज डैश ऑप्शन ए फीफो मेथड ऑप्शन बी स्पेसिफिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन मेथड ऑप्शन सी वेटेड एवरेज मेथड ऑप्शन डी लीफो मेथड इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है The appropriate method of valuation for the items which are not easily interchangeable is specific identification method. Option B is the correct answer for the given question. Which of the following system of inventory valuation computes the cost of goods sold as a residual amount? Option A, periodic inventory system. Option B, perpetual inventory system. Option C, specific identification. Option D, weighted average. This question ka sahi answer hai. ऑप्शन ए पीरियोडिक इन्वेंट्री सिस्टम ठीक है ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर इफ द क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री ऑफ अ बिजनेस इज अंडर कॉस्ट इट विल ऑप्शन ए इंक्रीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एंड डिक्रीज नेट प्रॉफिट ऑप्शन बी इंक्रीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एज वेल एज नेट प्रॉफिट ऑप्शन सी डिक्रीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एज वेल एज नेट प्रॉफिट ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है इफ द क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री ऑफ अ बिजनेस इज अंडर कॉस्ट इट विल डिक्रीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एज वेल एज नेट प्रॉफिट ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर The retail inventory method for the determination of historical cost of inventories may be used only. Option A for inventories of items that are not ordinary interchangeable. Option B for goods manufactured and earmarked for a specific purpose. 
Option C, where the use of such a method would approximate the results obtained through LIFO FIFO average cost method. Option D, where inventory comprises of items for which individual costs are not readily ascertainable. This question ka sahi answer agar aap ko malum hai to aap comment kar sakte hai. This question ka sahi answer hai, the retail inventory method for the determination of historical cost of inventories may be used only where inventory comprises of items for which individual costs are not readily ascertainable. Option D is the correct answer. Valuation of inventory is dealt within which accounting standard? Option A, accounting standard 5. Option B, accounting standard 2. Option C, accounting standard 3. Option D, accounting standard 4. This question ka sahi answer hai. Valuation of inventory is dealt within accounting standard 2. Option B is the correct answer for the given question. The perpetual inventory system is used where Option A, placing order for materials for regular intervals. Option B, exercising control over the issue of materials. Option C, recording the receipts and issue of materials immediately after each transaction. Option D, none of these. This question ka sahi answer hai. The perpetual inventory system is used where recording the receipts and issue of materials immediately after each transaction. Option C is the correct answer for the given question. Inventories are assets. Option A, held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Option B, in the production process for such sale. Option C, in the form of materials or supplies to be consumed in the production process or in the rendering of service. Option D, all of the above. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, all of the above. Option D is the correct. Which method of inventory valuation is widely accepted by income tax authority? Option A, LIFO method. Option B, FIFO method. Option C, adjusted selling price method. Option D, specific identification method. This question ka sahi answer, agar aapko malum hai, to aap comment karke bata sakte hai. This question ka sahi answer hai, option B, FIFO method. First in, first out method. Option B is the correct answer. Inventory valuation does not affect dash. Option A, tax liability. Option B, net income. Option C, cash flow statement. Option D, none of the above. This question ka sahi answer hai, Option C, cash flow statement. Inventory valuation does not affect the cash flow statement. Option C is the correct answer. Calculate the value of purchase through following details. We have to know the value of purchase and some details are given. Opening stock was 20,000, sales 150,000, gross profit margin 20% of sale. And closing stock was 30,000. Now, the gross profit margin was 20% of sale. Now, the closing stock was 30,000. So value of purchase kya hoga? We have four options. Pell option 1 lakh 30,000. Dusra 1 lakh 40,000. Tisra 1 lakh 50,000. Chauth option 1 lakh 60,000. This video ko pause karke aap calculate kar sakte hain aur sahi answer ko aap comment kar sakte hain. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option A 1 lakh 30,000. Option A is the correct answer. If the average stock is equal to 24,000 rupees, matlab 24,000 ka aapka average stock rehta hai. Closing stock is 6,000 more than the opening stock. The value of closing stock is equal to dash. Thick hai? Pell option 27,000. Dusra option 26,000. Tisra option 21,000. Or chauth option 28,000. Is video ka pause karke se calculate karke aap sahi answer comment kar sakte hai. Is question ka sahi answer hai option C 21,000. Option C is the correct answer. Under inflationary conditions, FIFO method will lead to dash. Option A, lower profits. Option B, higher profits. Option C, higher sales. Option D, lower sales. This question ka sahi answer hai. Under inflationary conditions, FIFO method will lead to higher profits. Option B is the correct answer for the given question. Physical inventory system is also known as dash. Option A, perpetual inventory system. Option B, periodic inventory system. Option C, inventory record system. Option D, none of these. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं। इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है फिजिकल इन्वेंटरी सिस्टम इज़ आल्सो नोन एस पीरियोडिक इन्वेंटरी सिस्टम। ऑप्शन बी इज़ द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन। व्हेन फीफो मेथड इज़ इन यूज़, फीफो मतलब फर्स्ट इन फ 
प्राइस फॉर दिस फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल कॉस्ट तीसरा ऑप्शन है प्रीवेलिंग मार्केट प्राइसेस चौथा ऑप्शन है रीसेंट कॉस्ट पेड इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है व्हेन फीफो मेथड इज इन यूज द क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री इज वैल्यूड एट द रीसेंट कॉस्ट पेड ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन Which of these is not one of the objectives of inventory valuation? Option A to determine true profit and loss. Option B to show true financial position of business. Option C to properly value closing stock. Option D to create secret reserves. This question का सही आंसर है. Option D to create secret reserve is not the objective of inventory valuation. Option D is the correct answer. Which of these is are the consequences of undervaluation of closing inventory? Option A, underreporting of profit. Option B, creation of hidden reserves. Option C, reduction of tax liability. Option D, all the three. This question का सही आंसर है. Option D, all the three. ये सारे के सारे जो हैं वो undervaluation of closing inventory के consequences हैं. तो option D is the correct answer. The cost of conversion of inventories include dash. Option A, cost directly related to the units of production. Option B, systematic allocation of fixed and variable production overheads. Option C, selling and distribution cost. Option D, both A and B. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आप जानते हैं तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन डी बोथ ए एंड बी ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर विच ऑफ दीज इज अ फीचर ऑफ पीरियोडिक इन्वेंट्री मेथड ऑप्शन ए बेस्ड ऑन बुक रिकॉर्ड्स ऑप्शन बी डन ऑन अ पीरियोडिक बेसिस ऑप्शन सी एक्सपेंसिव ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अब इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन बी डन ऑन पीरियोडिक बेसिस ये एक फीचर है पीरियोडिक इन्वेंट्री मेथड का ठीक है ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर Which of the following do not constitute inventories? Option A, stock for sale in ordinary business. Option B, stock for production. Option C, stock for rendering services. Option D, stock for share trading. This question का सही आंसर है. Option D, stock for share trading do not constitute inventories. Option D is the correct answer. Which of the following is not classified as inventory in the financial statement? Option A, finished goods. Option B, work in progress. Option C, stores and spares. Option D, advance payments made to suppliers for raw materials. This question का सही answer है. Option D, advance payments made to suppliers for raw materials is not classified as inventory in the financial statement. Option D is the correct answer. During a period of rising prices, which of the following inventory pricing methods results in lower total current assets? Option A simple average method. Option B weighted average method. Option C FIFO. Option D LIFO. This question का सही answer है. Option B weighted average method. ठीक है. Option B is the correct answer. If the inventory valuation according to the following three method is LIFO के हिसाब से forty five thousand, FIFO के हिसाब से fifty thousand, average cost के हिसाब से forty seven thousand five hundred respectively. Which method would you call the most conservative of the three? Option A, FIFO. Option B, LIFO. Option C, average cost. Option D, information provided is insufficient. This question का सही answer है. Option B, LIFO. ठीक है. सबसे ज़्यादा conservative जो method है, इन तीनों method में से वो option B है. A, B, C analysis is dash. Option A, system of the financial planning. Option B, technique of financial planning. Option C, technique of inventory control. Option D, technique of profit determination. This question का सही answer है. A B C analysis is technique of inventory control. Option C is the correct answer for the given question. Net realizable value of inventory means dash. Option A, sales less cost incurred for sales. Option B, sales less sales return. Option C, sales less cost of acquisition. Option D, sales less profit margin. यहाँ ये जो बीच में less less लिखे हुए हैं, ये actually में minus हैं, ठीक है? तो sales में से जब हम cost incurred of sales को deduct कर देंगे, तब आएगा. Sales में जब हम sales return को deduct कर देंगे, तब आएगा. Sales में से जब हम cost of acquisition को deduct कर देंगे, तब आएगा. या sales में से profit margin को जब हम minus कर देंगे, तब net realizable value आएगा. ठीक है? तो इस question का सही answer है. 
ऑप्शन ए जब हम सेल्स में से कॉस्ट इनकर्ड फॉर सेल्स को जब माइनस कर देंगे तो नेट रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेंट्री आ जाएगा तो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन इन स्टॉक वैल्यूएशन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल एट कॉस्ट प्राइस और मार्केट प्राइस विच एवर इज लोअर विल रिजल्ट इन द वैल्यूएशन ऑफ स्टॉक समटाइम्स एट द कॉस्ट प्राइस एंड एट द अदर टाइम्स एट द मार्केट प्राइस दिस इज एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डैश ऑप्शन ए कंसिस्टेंसी ऑप्शन बी मटीरियलिटी ऑप्शन सी कंजर्वेटिज ऑप्शन डी डिस्कलोजर इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन सी कंजर्वेटिज्म। ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर अ फर्म क्लोजेज देयर फाइनेंशियल बुक्स ऑन 31 मार्च स्टॉक टेकिंग कुड बी कंप्लीटेड आफ्टर टू वीक्स दैट इज 15th ऑफ अप्रैल द वैल्यू अराइज वॉज रुपीज ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट टू वीक्स परचेजेज वेयर रुपीज एंड द सेल्स वेयर रुपीज Gross profit ratio of the firm is rupees thirty percent. Ascertain the value of closing stock on thirty first March. Option A twenty six thousand eight hundred. Option B twenty five thousand. Option C twenty seven thousand two hundred. Option D twenty thousand. इस वीडियो को आप पॉज करके इस क्वेश्चन को कैलकुलेट करके आंसर आप कमेंट में लिख सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन A twenty six thousand eight hundred. Option A is the correct answer. The books of a firm reveal the following information: Opening stock rupees five lakh, purchase during the year thirty five lakh, sales during the year forty eight lakh. On March thirty first, the value of inventory as per the physical stock taking was rupees three lakh twenty five thousand. The company's gross profit on sales has remained constant at twenty five percent. The management of the company suspects that some inventory is missing. What is the estimated cost of missing inventory? Option A seventy five thousand. Option B twenty five thousand. Option C one lakh. Option D one lakh fifty thousand. आप इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करके कमेंट में आंसर आप बता सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर होगा ऑप्शन A seventy five thousand rupees. Option A is the correct answer for the given question. A company is following weighted average cost method for valuing its inventory. The details of its purchase and issue of raw materials during the week are as follows. December 1st opening stock 50 units value at rupees 2200 December 2nd purchase 100 units at the rate of 47 December 4 issued 100 units December 5 purchase 200 units at the rate of 48 the value of inventory at the end of the week will be option A 11900 option B 12000 option C 11800 option D 11700 इस क्वेश्चन को आप सॉल्व करके कमेंट में आंसर कर सकते हैं इस वीडियो को पॉज करके इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन ए 11,900 ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग डेटा पर्टेनिंग टू अ कंपनी फॉर द मंथ ऑफ मार्च 2023 स्टॉक एज ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च वन लाख एटी थाउजेंड स्टॉक एज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च वन लाख रुपीज द कंपनी मेड अ परचेज अमाउंटिंग टू रुपीज थ्री लाख फोर्टी थाउजेंड ऑन क्रेडिट ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ मार्च टू The company paid a sum of rupees three lakh fifty thousand to the suppliers. Find the cost of goods sold in the month of March two thousand twenty-three. ठीक है. पहला ऑप्शन है four lakh twelve thousand five hundred. दूसरा ऑप्शन है five lakh twenty-five thousand. तीसरा ऑप्शन है ninety thousand. और चौथा ऑप्शन है three lakh fifteen thousand. इस वीडियो को पॉज करके क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करके आंसर आप कमेंट में बता सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन B five lakh twenty-five thousand rupees. Cost of goods sold in the month of March were five lakh twenty-five thousand. Option B is the correct answer. If the goods purchased are in transit, then the journal entry at the end of the period will be option A, goods in transit account debit to suppliers account. Option B, goods in transit account debit to purchase account. Option C, stock account debit to goods in transit account. Option D, suppliers account debit to goods in transit account. This question का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन की सही जर्नल एंट्री होगी. Option B, goods in transit account debit to purchases account. Option B is the correct answer for the given question. Which of these is not one of the objectives of inventory valuation? Option A, to determine true profit and loss. Option B, to show true financial position of business. Option C, to properly value closing stock. Option D, to create secret reserves. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है तो आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं. इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन डी टू क्रिएट सीक्रेट रिजर्व्स इज नॉट वन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इन्वेंट्री वैल्यूएशन ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर व्हिच ऑफ दीज इज आर द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ अंडर वैल्यूएशन ऑफ क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री ऑप्शन ए अंडर रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ प्रॉफिट ऑप्शन बी क्रिएशन ऑफ हिडन रिजर्व ऑप्शन सी रिडक्शन ऑफ टैक्स लाइबिलिटी ऑप्शन डी ऑल द थ्री इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन डी ऑल द थ्री 
ठीक है ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड्स फॉर स्टॉक वैल्युएशन फॉर नॉर्मल इन्वेंट्री इज रिकमेंडेड बाय अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड टू ऑप्शन ए फीफो मेथड ऑप्शन बी लीफो मेथड ऑप्शन सी वेटेड एवरेज मेथड ऑप्शन डी बोथ ए एंड बी इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन ए फीफो मेथड ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर इन रिटेल इन्वेंट्री मेथड ओरिजिनल सेलिंग प्राइस मे बी मॉडिफाइड If the selling price is lowered below the original selling price, it is known as option A markup price, option B markup cancellation, option C net markup, option D markdown. This question का सही आंसर है option D markdown. Option D is the correct answer. The inventory method where the cost per unit is recomputed after every addition in the inventory is known as ऑप्शन ए सिंपल एवरेज मेथड ऑप्शन बी मूविंग एवरेज मेथड ऑप्शन सी वेटेड एवरेज मेथड ऑप्शन डी फीफो इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है द इन्वेंट्री मेथड वेर द कॉस्ट पर यूनिट इज रिकम्प्यूटेड आफ्टर एवरी एडिशन इन द इन्वेंट्री इज नोन एज वेटेड एवरेज मेथड ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिव द एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर्ड इन ब्रिंगिंग द इन्वेंट्री टू द प्लेस एंड द कंडीशन इन विच द गुड्स कंसर्न आर टू बी सोल्ड इज अंडरस्टूड एज ऑप्शन ए मार्केट प्राइस ऑप्शन बी सेल्स प्राइस ऑप्शन सी कॉस्ट ऑप्शन डी कैरेज इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है द एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर्ड इन ब्रिंगिंग द इन्वेंट्री टू द प्लेस एंड द कंडीशन इन विच द गुड्स कंसर्न आर टू बी सोल्ड इज अंडरस्टूड एज कॉस्ट ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन नेट रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू इन द केस ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स इन द नॉर्मल कोर्स एंड रिप्लेसमेंट प्राइस ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल इन द केस ऑफ चीफ स्टोर इज अंडरस्टूड एज ऑप्शन ए मार्केट प्राइस ऑप्शन बी सेल्स प्राइस ऑप्शन सी कॉस्ट ऑप्शन डी स्टोरेज कॉस्ट इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन ए मार्केट प्राइस द कॉस्ट ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ इन्वेंट्रीज इंक्लूड ऑप्शन ए कॉस्ट डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द यूनिट्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑप्शन बी सिस्टमैटिक एलोकेशन ऑफ फिक्स एंड वेरियबल प्रोडक्शन ओवर हेड्स ऑप्शन सी सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉस्ट ऑप्शन डी बोथ ए एंड बी इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन D both A and B. The cost of conversion of inventories include cost directly related to the units of production, or उसके साथ साथ systematic allocation of fixed and variable production overheads. So option D is the correct answer for the given question. In the periods of inflation, the impact of change in the method of valuation of inventories from LIFO method to FIFO method is option A increase in profit and decrease in cost of goods sold. Option B, decrease in profit and increase in cost of goods sold. Option C, increase in profit and decrease in the value of closing stock. Option D, decrease in profit and decrease in the value of closing stock. This question का सही answer है. Option A, increase in profit and decrease in cost of goods sold. Option A is the correct answer for the given question. Which of the following is a method to determine inventory quantities? Option A, LIFO and FIFO. Option B, LIFO and periodic. ऑप्शन सी फीफो एंड परपेक्चुअल ऑप्शन डी परपेक्चुअल एंड पीरियोडिक इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है ऑप्शन डी परपेक्चुअल एंड पीरियोडिक इज अ मेथड टू डिटरमाइन इन्वेंट्री क्वांटिटीज ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर द मेथड ऑफ प्राइजिंग इन्वेंट्री वेर ऑल आइटम्स आर असाइन द सेम यूनिट कॉस्ट इज डैश ऑप्शन ए लीफो ऑप्शन बी फीफो ऑप्शन सी एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑप्शन डी स्पेसिफिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर अगर आपको मालूम है आप कमेंट करके बता सकते हैं इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है द मेथड ऑफ प्राइसिंग इन्वेंट्री वेर ऑल आइटम्स आर असाइन द सेम यूनिट कॉस्ट इज फीफो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन अंडर इन्फ्लेशनरी कंडीशंस फीफो मेथड्स विल लीड टू डैश ऑप्शन ए लोअर प्रॉफिट ऑप्शन बी हायर सेल्स ऑप्शन सी लोअर सेल्स ऑप्शन डी हायर प्रॉफिट इस क्वेश्चन का सही आंसर है अंडर इन्फ्लेशनरी कंडीशन FIFO methods will lead to higher profits. Option D is the correct answer for the given question. The appropriate method of valuation for dearer item is dash. Option A FIFO method. Option B specific identification method. Option C weighted average method. Option D LIFO method. This question का सही आंसर है. The appropriate method of valuation of dearer item is specific identification method. Option B is the correct answer. Accounting standard two does not cover the inventory such as option A work in progress arising under service contracts, option B inventories of forest products, option C land and other property held for resale, option D both A and B above. This question का सही आंसर है 
ऑप्शन डी बोथ ए एंड बी अब Which of these is a feature of periodic inventory method? Option A, based on book records. Option B, done on a periodic basis. Option C, expensive. Option D, all of the above. This question का सही आंसर है. Option B, done on periodic basis. ये एक फीचर है periodic inventory method का. तो option B, जैसे नाम है periodic inventory method. Option B, done on periodic basis. Option B is the correct answer. Product costing system is also known as option A specific identification method, option B perpetual inventory method, option C weighted average method, option D periodic inventory method. This question का सही आंसर है. Product costing system is also known as perpetual inventory method. Option B is the correct answer for the given question. The appropriate attribute to use while measuring damaged inventory is dash. Option A historical cost, option B current cost, option C current market value, option D net realizable value. This question ka sahi answer hai. The appropriate attribute to use while measuring damaged inventory is net realizable value. Option D is the correct answer. Which one of the following assets is are to be valued at the lower of cost and net realizable value? Option A, goodwill. Option B, inventories. Option C, investment. Option D, sundry debtors. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option B, inventories. The inventory method where the cost per unit is recomputed after every addition in the inventory is known as Option A, simple average method. Option B, specific identification method. Option C, moving average method. Option D, last in first out method. This question ka sahi answer hai. The inventory method where the cost per unit is recomputed after every addition in the inventory is known as moving average method. Option C is the correct answer. Which of the following inventory valuation method shows higher profits during the period of rising prices? Option A, FIFO method. Option B, LIFO method. Option C, perpetual inventory system. Option D, simple average method. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option A, FIFO method. Option A is the correct answer. Which of the following system of inventory valuation computes cost of goods sold as a residual amount? Option A, weighted average. Option B, last in first out. Option C, perpetual inventory system. Option D, periodic inventory system. This question ka sahi answer. Agar aapko malum hai, aap comment kar sakte hai. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, periodic inventory system is a system of inventory valuation which computes cost of goods sold as a residual amount. Option D is the correct answer. If the opening inventory of a business is undercast, it will dash. Option A, increase gross profit and decrease net profit. Option B, decrease gross profit as well as net profit. Option C, increase value of assets. Option D, increase gross profit as well as net profit. This question ka sahi answer hai. If the opening inventory of a business is undercast, it will increase gross profit as well as net profit. Option D is the correct answer. For which of the following is not classified as inventory in the financial statement? Option A, finished goods. Option B, work in progress. Option C, stores and space. Option D, advanced payments made to suppliers for raw materials. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, advanced payments made to suppliers for raw materials is not classified as inventory in the financial system. Option D is the correct answer. The appropriate attribute used to measure the damaged inventory is dash. Option A, historical cost. Option B, current cost. Option C, current market value. Option D, net realizable value. This question ka sahi answer hai. The appropriate attribute used to measure damaged inventory is net realizable value. Option D is the correct answer for the given question. Closing stock is generally valued at dash. Option A, cost price. Option B, market price. Option C, cost price or market price, whichever is higher. Option D, cost price or market price, whichever is lower. This question ka sahi answer hai. Closing stock is generally valued at cost price or market price, whichever is lower. Option D is the correct answer for the given question. What is FIFO method? Option A, issued made out of latest receipt. Option B, issued made out of first receipt. Option C, issued made out of highest value receipt. Option D, issued made out of lowest value receipt. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option B, issued made out of first receipt. FIFO matlab, first in, first out. To jo first aya, wahi se pehla jayega. Out hoga matlab issue hoga. To option 
B is the correct answer. Historical cost of an inventory is generally calculated using dash. Option A, direct costing. Option B, absorption costing. Option C, either direct or absorption costing. Option D, neither direct nor absorption costing. This question ka sahi answer hai. Historical cost of an inventory is generally calculated using either direct or absorption costing. Option C is the correct answer. What is LIFO method? Option A, issued made out of latest receipt. Option B, issued made out of first receipt. Option C, issued made out of highest value receipt. Option D, issued made out of lowest value receipt. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option A, issued made out of latest receipt. Last in, first out. Jo last mein aaya, wahi pehle bahar jayega. To pehle bahar jayega matlab out hoga, matlab wo issue hoga. So issued made out of latest receipt. Latest matlab jo last mein aaya. Latest hai, theek hai? So option A is the correct answer. Which of the following is not the purpose of stock valuation? Option A, liquidity. Option B, legal obligation. Option C, income determination. Option D, capital determination. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, capital determination is not the purpose of stock valuation. Option D is the correct answer. Which of the following shall form part of the cost of inventory? Option A, interest cost on money borrow. Option B, abnormal losses. Option C, storage cost of work in progress. Option D, administrative expenses. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option C, storage cost of work in progress shall form part of the cost of inventory. Option C is the correct answer. During a period of rising prices, yani inflation ke time, which of the following inventory pricing methods Results in lower total current assets. Option A, simple average method. Option B, weighted average method. Option C, FIFO. Option D, LIFO. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, LIFO. Last in, first out. In the perpetual inventory system, stock taking is dash. Option A, is not done ever. Option B, is periodical. Option C, is at the time of winding up. Option D, is continuous. This question ka sahi answer hai. In the perpetual inventory system, stock taking is continuous. Okay, option D is the correct answer. When perpetual inventory system is used, which of the following method of inventory valuation should be used? Option A, LIFO. Option B, FIFO. Option C, simply average method. Option D, any of the above. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, any of the above, kisi ko bhi hum use kar sakte hain. Option D is the correct. If inventory valuation according to the following three method is LIFO 45,000, FIFO 50,000, average cost 47,500 respectively, which method would you call the most conservative of the three? Option A, FIFO. Option B, LIFO. Option C, average cost. Option D, information provided is insufficient. This question ka sahi answer hai option B, LIFO, last in, first out. Option B is the correct answer. When FIFO method is in use, the closing inventory is valued at Option A, prevailing market prices. Option B, recent costs paid. Option C, oldest prices paid. Option D, price furthest from actual cost. This question ka sahi answer hai. When FIFO method is in use, the closing inventory is valued at recent costs paid. Option B is the correct answer. When LIFO method is in use, the closing inventory is valued at option A, current market prices, option B, most recent cost paid, option C, oldest prices paid, option D, prices furthest from actual cost. This question ka sahi answer hai. When LIFO method is in use, the closing inventory is valued at oldest prices paid, option C is the correct answer. Identify the method in which inventory is valued at the latest prices prevailing in the market. Option A, LIFO. Option B, FIFO. Option C, weighted average method. Option D, replacement price method. This question ka sahi answer hai. Option D, replacement price method. Option D is the correct answer. Closing stock is valued at cost or market price, whichever is option A, higher. Option B, lower. Option C, Convenient to the management. Option D, appealing to the accountant. This question ka sahi answer hai. Closing stock is valued at cost or market price, whichever is 
lower option b is the correct answer the method of inventory valuation most widely used in accounting is dash option a cost price option b market price option c the higher of cost or market price option d the lower of cost or market price this question ka sahi answer hai the method of inventory valuation most widely used in accounting is the lower of cost or market price option d is the correct answer inventory control techniques may be employed in dash option a manufacturing business option b merchandising business option c both the above option d none of the above is question ka sahi answer aap sabhi jante honge to please comment karke jaldi se bata dijiye is question ka sahi answer option c both the above option c is the correct answer in abc analysis the category that represents those items used in the largest quantity but whose value is not as high as option a a item option b b item option c c item option d any of these is question ka sahi answer hai option c c item abc analysis the category that represents those items used in largest quantity but whose value is not as high as c item option c is the correct answer identify the method that result in lower valuation of inventory and lower income during a period of rising prices option a simple average option b weighted average option c fifo option d lifo is question ka sahi answer hai option d lifo lifo is the method that result in lower valuation of inventory and lower income during a period of rising prices so lifo is last in first out option d is the correct answer during a period of declining prices which one of the following inventory pricing method will result in lower cost of goods sold option a lifo option b fifo first in first out option c simple average method option d inflated price method is question ka sahi answer hai during a period of declining prices which one of the following inventory pricing method will result in lower cost of goods sold is option a lifo method option a is the correct answer in a period of inflation which inventory method would be considered suitable by the accountant option a lifo option b fifo option c average cost option d standard cost this question ka sahi answer hai option a lifo last in first out option a is the correct answer.